What's up everybody, Dad Tech TV here, and today I'm starting my journey to become a certified professional penetration tester. Alright, so I just uploaded my review of the PTS course and getting my EJPT certification, and it's funny because that same day my actual certificate came from eLearn Security. Or at least that's what I'm thinking I got, since it came straight from Italy. So let's take a look at that and see what it looks like. This is actually packaged very nicely. Uh, very strong packaging. Cost them about five euros to get it to me. So let's see what's in here. Ah, very nice paper. And there it is. The official certificate for the EJPT. That's the Junior Penetration Tester course, which was the pre-certification to this class, which is the ECPPT that I'm going to be talking about. So as I mentioned previously, eLearn Security recently updated their Penetration Tester Professional course, which is the course you take to get your ECPPT. That's been upgraded to version 5. And during the launch, they actually had an amazing discount for all previous customers. I definitely took advantage of that as soon as I saw it because I'd been thinking about it and the price was right. However, I haven't actually started the course yet. So what better way to get myself started than to promise that I'm going to be doing updates and reviews as I go through the material and sharing that journey with everybody else. And as part of that course, obviously, I'll be taking the certification to get the ECPPT, which is the Certified Professional Penetration Tester Certificate. I do have some time restrictions right now based on just things going on in life. So, and this course is definitely not as easy as the PTS. The PTS took me about two weeks. I'm not thinking that this is going to take me that short at all. It's going to be much longer than that, but I'll definitely have updates as I go through. So let's take a look at the website, elearnsecurity.com. Go to their courses, and we're going to click on the Penetration Testing Pro. You'll see the PTS that I talked about last time. This is the next step getting you much more involved in penetration testing. So when we go there and we scroll down, it's going to give a lot of information on the course and some pieces right in the beginning to take note of is that there's more than 17 hours of video training, which is awesome. Along with that, there's 6,500 plus slides. So there's a lot of material that I'm going to be taking in. And my favorite part, their labs, they have 30 labs specific to this course. So that's really exciting. So I scroll down, we'll see the syllabus, different things. Um, and while I felt comfortable with the majority of PTS before I went into it, there are certain pieces in this PTP course that are touched on that I haven't actually looked into before, things that I haven't really worked with. So I'm super excited, especially about things like buffer overflow and looking at Ruby because I've coded in a lot of other languages, but never in Ruby. Right in the beginning, we're going to get into system security, network security, PowerShell, Linux, web application security, Wi-Fi security, and then Ruby at the end. Um, downloading the PDF syllabus, just like the other one, it gives a little bit better information. Right from the beginning, right in module one, we're getting into the stack and specifically stack frames and how they work. So I'm excited about that. And that's going to lead us right into buffer overflows. So if you haven't looked into this course, take a look at the syllabus. And if you have already done this course, please leave a comment about what you thought and go ahead and hit that subscribe button to follow me on my journey to the ECPPT. Thanks everybody and stay tuned.